What's up, it's Keith Kelfis with the Landscaping Employee Trap, and in this video I'm going to show you, or ask you, how much does it cost you per day, down to the dollar, to live, to run your business, to pay your bills, whatever it may be. Say hello to Gracie. And I'm going to show you this little tiny technique that saved my ass, it saved my life. Because Henry Ford said when you have a major task that's overwhelming, break it up into small bite-sized chunks, right? Time is on your side. So this is a basic simple budget, obviously you're supposed to separate your business from your personal expenses and all that stuff. I'm going to break it down to the simplest possible math and maybe this can help, but this really saved me. So here on a general basic ledger, you got income. Oops, can't even spell income and expenses. There you go, nice and sloppy for you. Okay, we'll just go straight to expenses. Let's just say you got a thousand bucks a month for rent. Let's say you got gas, phone, and electric. You got gas, phone, and cable is a hundred. You got electric is a hundred. You got a cell phone, whatever, 150. You got groceries and food is a thousand. You got a car payment, 300. Insurance is 300. You got health insurance is 300. You got another 500 miscellaneous crap. You got, I don't know, I could say another 500 in miscellaneous crap. Okay, just very basic. I'm sure it goes on and on and on. But to figure out every single expense, I'm talking literally down to toothbrush and toothpaste and dentist bills and tires and brake pads and a little micro USB cell phone chargers that you had to spend money on. Like I've got it down to the penny. I know exactly, exactly how much money I make and exactly how much money goes out all the time, every month, every quarter, every six months, every year. And I know, and you can see it happening and it takes on a life of its own. But I want you to figure out exactly, just take a white piece of a computer paper and write your income and your expenses. Or if you have QuickBooks, you can track it, quicken.com, FreshBooks. There's all these softwares. Check out your bank account statements. Figure it all out. Now go like this, add it all up. 1,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50, 24, 50, 27, 3,050, 33, 38, 50, what is that, 43, 50, okay, 43, 50, okay, now I'm going to take out my nifty calculator, and obviously, uh, if you got a business, your expenses could easily go into ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month, like no problem. And like I said, you want to separate business from personal. I'm just making it real simple here for the sake of this video. Okay, so you got four thousand three hundred and fifty divided by four weeks in a month. That's a thousand. That's only, only, only a thousand. And a barking dog in the background. A thousand eighty-seven fifty. Make sure you put the pennies in there. A week now? Oh, that is nothing. Okay, now let's say you work, you could say six days in a week, but we'll add the sixth day for a bonus. Let's just say you're only able to work five days a week. There's delays, there's quotes, there's rain, whatever it is. So 1087.50 divided by, that dog will bark for hours, so you might as well just love it. I can't make this video again, I don't have time. Okay, divided by five days a week, that's 217.50. Fifty a day. That's a walk in the park, dog. Okay, two hundred and seventeen fifty a day. Okay, uh, if I've already included taxes in there, I mean, with that amount of money, you'd probably be like, I don't know, I don't want to say anything, but because like. Let's just say your average, if you've got your small business, you could easily take those expenses and triple that up to $15,000 a month. And let's just say that 4,300 is just your personal living expenses. And then the other like, um, you know, almost right around $10,000 is all business expenses. And then you got to get deeper into the game. But I want you to figure out how much it costs you to run your business per day and then figure out how much it costs you to your personal expenses per day down to the down to the penny or at least down to the dollar because for me there was a point uh like five years ago i knew i figured out i actually i was like so overwhelmed financially and i had some debts i was paying off i was really stressed out i was like i only got to make 68 dollars a day 
Oh, that's easy. So if you go out and you make over that, then bank that. Then when sometimes you might make 300 in a day. You might make 1,000 in a day. Sock that money away because this is what happens. What goes up must come down. If you make really good money here, cut that. Cut that off because maybe next week it'll be dry and you ain't making none down. So that's when that money, you want to level out this volatility in your life and in your business financially level it out when you make really good money save it when you make really really bad money you're not totally screwed okay so that's a basic budget i want you to really really do this if you have not done it and figure out how much money it takes you to live per day all right thanks for watching this please like subscribe share it if you create think it'll create value for somebody else and let me know in the comments below if there's any good softwares that you recommend for anybody else in this community that will um that they can learn more about this. Cool. Later.